My sweetheart, I miss you so much. And I promise you, I am not gonna be much longer, okay? I love you. Gwen must be talking to the mystery man. Oh, I can't wait to be with you again. I just wanna hug you and kiss you over and over and over. What? All right, you. Who are you? I wanna know who you are. Miguel? What is he still doing alive? Why didn't Spike kill him? He was supposed to. What is wrong with you? Why did you kill Miguel? Townsend, that kid. He must have tried to stop me. Listen to me. Did I tell you? That kid, they have demons in the basement? Yeah, yeah, they do. And they, 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 they got fangs and they got skills. Oh my god, they got horns. Oh my god, they're the worst breath you've ever smelled. The worst breath. What is wrong with you? Are you high? Am I high? In my crazy world! I'm out of here! Damn it! You gotta be kidding me. No, Miguel. I will not let you have her. There he is, Foxy boy! <laughs> hey, you rang? Yes, I rang. Well, here I am, and it better be important. You spike! I paid you to kill Miguel and you didn't do it. I want the job finished. You understand? You have to kill Miguel. What could be keeping fancy? I don't know. I mean, we all know how much she wants to marry Luis. Maybe I should go check on her. Mama, Mama, Luis already went to check on her. Everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, she probably just didn't like her hair or something. Want to redo it? Isn't that what? Happened with Teresa and Jerry? Uh, I think Teresa was just trying to stall that way. You don't think Fancy's doing that, do you? No. <laughs> She's as anxious to get married as anyone I've ever seen. Well, as long as the um, wedding is postponed, so is Luis's execution, I guess. I don't even know why the warden agreed to this wedding. Mm, maybe he has a romantic stroke. It's just weird. But we should just be grateful, right? And we have to pray for a miracle. There's got to be someone who can stop them from killing my son for something he didn't do. Mom, are you okay? You don't look very well. I don't feel very well, honey. Do you think you might be getting sick? I think knowing that Luis is going to be executed is making me sick. Well, I know. I mean, it's too horrible to even think about. It's so unfair. I mean, everybody knows that Luis is innocent. He is innocent. The person that's responsible for these crimes. What? What is it, Mom? Nothing. Nothing. What are we waiting for? I believe Fancy's still in the dressing room. I wonder what's taking her so long. Sorry, Fancy, but this wedding is never going to happen. No, no, Pretty, I'm begging you, don't do this. Luis is going to be executed tonight. Please let us get married. I don't care what you do to me afterward, but please let Luis have this last happy memory. Forget it, sis. Luis will know what you did to me, and he will know that you destroyed my life. Once he sees that you've done this, he won't ever want to marry you. <laughs> Not in a million years. No, no, pretty. Pretty, wait! Pretty! Good. It's about time Pretty pulled the plug on her bitch sister. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> uh huh. Good. I didn't miss anything. Oh, hello, Ivy. What brings you to this gala? Well, I'm not about to miss watching my daughter become a bride. Yeah, well, if you hang around long enough, you'll get to see her become a widow as well. Well, there's Mother. You don't think she's gonna cause trouble, do you? Hope not. Well, with Ivy, you never know. 
still can't believe that she kept me from knowing that you were my real father all those years ago. I don't think I can ever forgive her, Dad. Yeah, well, she certainly cost us a lot. If we'd only known. I know. I know, I just... I think keeping a father from his child is probably the worst thing you could ever do. Pandora! Sweet pea, where were you? I hope you and Mrs. Wallace and Norma didn't get into any trouble, huh? Oh, dear. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that at all. Well, this should be a good place to watch the fireworks. Yes, a clear view of the altar. <sighs> I hope Fancy's is all right. Yeah, I'm sure she's fine. I'm just sorry you have to wait. You know, you looked so beautiful walking down the aisle. Thank you, Noah. You're welcome. I can't wait to marry you. Well, that's good, because I can't wait to marry you either. Oh, there's Luis. Won't be long now. Sorry for the hold up, everybody. Fancy's just finishing her makeup. She'll be out shortly, and then we can pick up where we left off, Father. Very good. Let us continue. What the hell is Fancy doing? I don't know. Pretty was supposed to stop her. Well, if Pretty doesn't do it, I will. You're there because I can hear you breathing. Look, this is Rebecca. I'm Gwen's mother. I could become your mother-in-law, for God's sake. Just tell me your name. They hung up on me. It's about time, too. Honey, I just want to know who this new mystery man is. You will find out. But right now, it's none of your business. Oh, 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 that is very nice. You won't tell me. Your own mother, your very best friend. <gasps> Gwen, oh my God. He, he's a married man, isn't he? I am not going to tell you anything, okay? Not right now. Well, when? When the time is right. Okay, hey, hey, it got your message. Hey, Go me, Fox. We were careless last time. I paid you to get the job done. You didn't do it. I want him dead, you understand? Yeah. Yeah, I understand. All right, but you, you need to get a clue there, buddy boy. Your wife, she don't want you, okay? Really? Yeah, she Stop. loves me, pal. She wants me. Miguel's got her all confused, you understand? Okay, man. Just go. do what I tell you to do. You get him out of the picture. Just calm and down. And then she will realize that I'm the man she loves. You understand? Calm down. I won't calm down. I paid you to do a job. You can't do it? I'll take the money back. I'll find somebody who can. Wait a minute. I, I know. I, I am going to do it. Okay? Then go. Go do it, Spike. Can, can you give me a second here so I can think of a way so you and I don't become suspects? Hello? And just do whatever you have to do. Just make sure the K is not hurt. You understand? How am I going to do that? I mean, I don't know, Spike. Uh, try putting a bomb underneath this bed. Just go back to Tabitha's house and get it done. Uh, uh, uh no. Time out. I ain't going back in that house. No way. What do you mean you're not going back to Tabitha's house? That's where Miguel lives. I'm telling you, that house is freaky, okay? Tabitha and that little brat, they are evil. I ain't going back in that house. Nah, forget it. Okay, Tabitha, let's see, she's an old woman. And Dora, she's a child. What are you talking about? You don't know them. True that, 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 that Dora might be a kid. Oh, but she's evil. Yeah. No way, man. Forget it. I don't believe this. 
Right, look. Tabitha, she took Dora to the prison to go watch Luis and Fancy get married. So you can go to the house and Dora free and get the job done. All right, what about um, Kay and Miguel? They're at the prison too. Kay's brother is marrying Miguel's sister, so go. Okay, if you're sure that nobody's home. Nobody's home, Spike. Go. Dead man, Miguel. Adios. She looks so beautiful. Yeah, well, not as beautiful as you. I can't wait to make you my bride. Aww. I can't wait either. Oh, he looks really happy. It's because he's watching the woman that he loves, about to walk down the aisle. Then he's, you know, he's gonna... Don't, hey, don't. Right now, he's happy. He's happy that she's about to become his bride, okay? Mom, are you all right? Are you sure nothing's wrong? You know, I always cry at weddings. <laughs> and just knowing what Luis is gonna have to face afterwards. I know, I know. I don't know how this family's gonna stand it. Holy Mary, Mother of God, I pray to you, I beg you to find a way to spare my son. Please bring a miracle so that Luis may find a long, happy life with Fancy, the woman he loves. Thank God, Fancy's here. Yeah, we can finally get married. looks green. She must be so nervous. I hope she doesn't faint. Well, you can't really blame her. I mean, she knows her wedding day is also the last day of her husband's life. Well, it sounds sort of awful when you put it that way. Well, how else are you gonna put it? And Dora, sweet pea, it's time to sprinkle the petals in front of Fancy. Come on. I don't know what happened to Pretty, but I'm going to stop this right now. No, wait. For what, Vincent? I can't just stand here and let Luis marry Fancy. But if you go out there and spoil Luis's wedding, he'll never forgive you. Wouldn't you rather be the person he turns to in his final hours on Earth than the shrew that broke his heart? What other choice do I have? I can't let him marry her. I'm Lindsay Hartley. Don't miss a beat when Passions moves exclusively to DirecTV. Call 888-999-0433 to get DirecTV. Kay really did love me before Miguel came back into town and confused her. I should be mine again once he's gone for good. Spike, what are you doing back here again? Are you talking to me? Esme? No, I, I, I thought you were somebody else. What are you doing back in Harmony? Oh, well, I came to see your sister, but I can't find her anywhere. There's this party in Southampton I wanted well, her I'm to go to. I'm afraid you're going to have to find somebody else to party with. Fancy's getting married tonight. Married? Oh. And she didn't invite me? <laughs> well, don't feel bad. It was kind of a last-minute thing. Fancy's going to marry Luis at the prison tonight, and then they're going to execute him. you to know that no matter what happens later, I'm the luckiest man alive. To be marrying fancy is like a dream come true. Your spirit is admirable, Luis. I'm grateful I can help bring you some happiness in your final hours. I don't care if Luis is upset. I'm going to stop this wedding. No, Sheridan, I can't let you do that. <sighs> Oh. 
I'm the luckiest man alive. Are we all here? We're here, Father. Then let us begin. You are my passion for life. Fancy's going to marry Luis tonight, before his execution? Crazy, I know. But he'll be dead before the honeymoon. Well, what can I say? She loves him. She wants to be his wife, even if it is only for an hour or two. Oh, good grief, an hour or two? What is the point in getting married if she's gonna bury the bridegroom before she beds him? Well, when you love somebody that much, sometimes you do crazy things. Oh, so I've heard. <laughs> Mr. Terminally Ill. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, don't play dumb with me. Fancy told me all about it. And I'm not surprised. Typical crane behavior. You just can't take no for an answer. Hello? Anybody home? I'm going down that basement. No friggin' way. I really do not understand you at all these days, Glenn. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Just, just tell me what's going on in that feverish little brain of yours. I will. You need to be patient. Honey, I am not the least bit patient. You know that, and you've been acting so strangely. I mean, you won't tell me who this new mystery man is. You won't tell Ethan that Teresa's been lying to him for years. I know. Well, he deserves to know that little Ethan is his son, doesn't he? Well, of course he does. And he's going to find out soon enough. Yeah, well, when? I told you I am waiting for the right time, okay? I want Teresa to think that nothing could possibly go wrong in her life, like practically down the aisle getting ready to marry Ethan. That is when I'm going to drop the bomb. Honey, I know that sounds perfectly delicious, but why wait? Why not destroy Teresa's life right now? Get it over with. Because that would be too easy. Because she has spent years making my life miserable, and she deserves the worst kind of payback. Well, yeah, she does deserve it. But I don't. I don't know if I can wait. I don't know if I can stand it. Believe me, it'll be worth the wait. I want Teresa floating on top of the world, okay? Thinking that nothing could possibly destroy her happiness. And then, boom, I'm going to bring her down to earth so hard, I'm going to slam her so hard into the ground, she is going to break into a million little pieces. <sighs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered in the sight of God to join these two couples in holy matrimony. They're starting the ceremony. I can't stand this. I will not let that bitch marry the least. No, wait, just hold on. I have a feeling you won't have to play bad guy. If anyone here can show just cause why Luis and Fancy or Noah and Paloma should not be joined together, speak now or forever hold your peace. Oh, Endora, something big is about to happen. I can feel it in my bones. Fancy Crane, do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? No. What? What do you fancy? What's wrong? I can't marry you, Luis. I'm sorry, but I can't. Well, I sure hope you know what you're doing. I do. I told you I am biding my time. Yeah, well, mm. I don't want you to wait too long. I mean, Ethan and Teresa could run off and get married any time now. Are you kidding me? This is Teresa. She's going to want the biggest, showiest, tackiest wedding harmony has ever seen. And in spite of her previous marriages, you know she's going to wear the most elaborately virginal gown she can dream of. Mm. That's true. Mm. Oh, 
I gotta go. Where do you have to go? To prison. Oh, I have to talk to Julian. And his daughter, uh, Fancy, is marrying Luis there tonight? Wait, what? Fancy is marrying Luis? Isn't he scheduled to be executed? Mm, yeah, yeah, he is. Mm. Mm. But the warden said he could get married first. Poor Sheridan, she must be devastated. Mm. I'm sure she is. Must be a terrible loss. something like this was going to happen. Well, I don't know, but there was something in the air tonight. I can't believe Fancy called it off. Yes, pretty must have gotten to her. <gasps> well, thank God. <laughs> What's going on? Why did you stop the ceremony, Fancy? I'm sorry, Father. You don't want to get married now? No. Yes, I do want to marry you. I I, I can't. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Please forgive no, no, me. I, of course, I understand. You do? Of course I do. Now, who wants to get married to a man who's only got a few hours to live? What kind of a life is that, right? It's okay. No, it's no, okay. No, I'm sorry. It's I love you so much. It please, it please forgive me. You did it to yourself, Sam. Now you're finally going to feel the pain I've lived with all these years. You didn't give a damn about what you did to me. So now you're going to pay. I've waited such a long time for this. Oh, excuse me. Is there a tissue in... Pretty? Hello, Mother. <clears throat> Pretty? I, I don't believe it. When did you come back to Harmony? Just today. Sorry about that. Sorry, no, honey, welcome home. It's, it's so good to see you. Mm. Is it? Of course it is. I can't remember the last time we saw each other. It, it's been <sighs> years. And please, don't pretend that you've missed me. Pretend, honey, I have missed you. But why didn't you tell us you were coming home? Why should I? You didn't want me to come back. That's not true. Your father and I, we have been hoping for so long that you would come back. Why? So that I could ruin the picture-perfect image of the cranes? I mean, that's why you wanted me gone in the first place. That is not true, pretty. I hate it when you call me that. Why did you ever name me pretty? Your father. <laughs> you were a beautiful baby. Well, I'm not so beautiful now, am I? You haven't seen my face in a long time, have you? Well, here it is, Mommy, in all its hideous glory. <sighs> um, what would you like to drink? A uh, martini, extra dry. Martini it is. Bartender, can I get two martinis, both extra dry, please? Going up. You know, I'm not really sure what I'm doing buying drinks for a woman who clearly can't stand me. What? Who told you that? You did. Said some pretty terrible things about my character. Oh, I was just telling you the truth about yourself. I never said those qualities weren't admirable. Are they? Well, if you weren't so good-looking, they might not be. Well, in that case, uh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I am curious, though. Why did you want to buy me a drink? I had nothing better to do. Oh, well, that's very flattering. Thank you. Come on, I thought we were friends. Hardly. But I do, uh, appreciate your zest for life, Esme. The way you're always living on your own terms. Oh, really? Yes, really. Nancy's told me many stories about you, about how you always seem to be getting yourself into trouble, but you always come out on top. <laughs> I do, don't I? 
course, it's nice that I had Daddy's help. You know, I always had him wrapped around my little finger. That was the only good thing about my parents' divorce. I was always able to play one against the other to get what I wanted. That is, until Daddy married that bitch Brenda. <laughs> now Daddy is not so easily manipulated. She is a horrible person, and she hates me. And she's convinced my father to cut me off. Oof. Oh, that is hard. Hard? Oh, it is beyond cruel. I mean, she convinced him that I spent too much money and too much time in Europe. <laughs> I mean, is there such a thing as too much time in Europe? And now, get this, they want me to get a job. I mean, can you imagine me working for a living? <laughs> uh, actually, no. But, uh, you know, you're in the perfect place. Why, what do you mean? Well, Harmony's filled with fishing boats. If you play your cards right, I might be able to get you a job. Could have you out in the open seas by tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> hey, who, who's there? Oh, choose my minute. Creeps. I'm gonna plant this diamond and get the hell out of here. Quick. Try a martini for the lady. I'm glad I could give you such a good laugh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh at you. It's just that it's, uh, it's pretty funny thinking about you having a job or doing anything at all, really, for that fact. Yeah, that is exactly my point. It is not even in the realm of possibility. What happened to uh, that count or, or the duke or earl mm. that you were dating? His horrible mother made him dump me for some billionaire sultan's daughter. Pig. Sorry, that's, that's terrible. You know, I don't think you think so at all. You're just, you're enjoying making fun of me. No, actually, I was being serious, you know. I know how it is. My grandfather, he cut me out of the will, and it, it hurts. Yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? Ugh, I mean, not knowing where your next pair of Manolos is coming from, and just the thought of missing the Paris shows, it just makes me break out in hives. Yes, how, how tragic. You have no idea. And besides, I couldn't even get a job if I wanted to. I, I can't do anything. Nothing? I mean, the... You can't type? Uh, no. <laughs> what about, uh... What about languages? I mean, you had to pick up something with that international array of characters that you've been seeing. Mm, did I ever. Unfortunately, nothing I could say outside of the boudoir. Well, it has to be something. I mean, something that you're, you're interested in that you could get a job doing. Mel, I do have a flair for fashion. Oh, maybe I could ask Fancy for a job at Crane Industries in her department. Or did they replace her when she left to become a policewoman? No, I, I think she's still head of Lifestyle magazine. Hmm, excellent. I'll have to talk to her about it after this whole wedding funeral thing is over. Well, Esme, I really, really do wish you the best of luck. Hmm. Hope things turn out the best for you. No, thanks. So, what do you say? Friends again? Yes, friends. Good. Now, I have a very important question. When are you going to give up on that mousy little K? Luis is going to be executed in a matter of hours. I better go check on her. 
So now Luis is going to die without having what he wants most, which is to be married to Fancy. Well, I feel for Luis. Fancy loves him very much. She must have a good reason for doing what she's doing. Julian, we cannot sit here and just let Luis be executed for crimes that we know he didn't commit. The only way we can stop this execution is to incriminate our son. Do you want to live with that guilt the rest of your life? Well, I can't live with my conscience if I don't speak up. We owe Vincent. He's been abused and mistreated his entire life. I don't think we've loved him enough to even try to find him. It doesn't matter, Julian. He's committed murder, and there's nothing we can do to ignore that fact. Just don't say anything to anybody. Perhaps there's another way to stop this execution without incriminating our son. Excuse me. Oh, Dora, don't you look lovely? Thank God you changed your mind. Changed my mind? Well, yes, I mean, that's why you're here, because you want to do the right thing and confess. No way. Vincent, said you can't let Luis be executed for crimes that you committed. Oh, so you'd rather watch me die instead? No, of course not, but honey, you're sick. You'll be given treatment. They won't give you the death sentence. Well, dream on, Mommy Dearest. The minute I confess to my crimes, I'll be sitting on death row with the rest of the losers. No. I won't let that happen. I will go with you to the police, and I'll make sure that everyone understands that you're not responsible for your actions. What's happening here? The wedding over? Well, uh, we had a little glitch. Fancy called off the wedding. Well, I, I don't know what happened here tonight, but I know that uh, allowing this wedding was a mistake. Get the prisoner back into his cell. Ethan, please do something. Don't let them kill my son. Has there been any, any word from the governor whatsoever? N no, I'm sorry. The execution will go forward as planned. Vincent, please do the right thing. I'll help you. Stay tuned for more passions. Check out The Fashionator at iVillage.com for the hottest trends this season. Don't be a fashion victim. Visit iVillage.com. Well... Well, well, what, Esme? Oh, don't start that again. You are an intelligent guy, Fox. Don't jerk me around. When, if ever, are you going to get over Kay Bennett? Kay Crane. She's my wife, in case you didn't know. Uh, I did know, yes, but apparently she's not a very good one. Isn't she still in love with her high school sweetheart or something pedestrian like that? No. No? No. <laughs> Didn't you just fake a terminal disease so that Kay wouldn't leave you? And, and didn't you frame Miguel for a hit-and-run accident so that he'd be sent to prison? I mean, I am all for extremes, but that sounds a little extreme, <laughs> even to me. Well, what can I say this, man? I love her. Can't help the way I feel. Well, I guess that makes sense. Love makes us do strange things. Things that don't make any sense. That is absolutely true. Yeah, I just wish you didn't look so miserable. But then again, I'm pretty miserable too, and misery loves Campari. So what do you say? We forget all about our troubles and get wasted tonight. <laughs> say I like the way you think. Yeah. Bartender, another round, please. Okay. This is gonna work. <laughs> I gotta make sure that Kay's not here when I said it all. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. Because we know that Fox 
to freak him in the gap with his precious cake. Please, let us help you. I, I promise we will find the best plastic surgeon in the world and I'm sure they can fix that scar. No, they can't, Mother. I've already seen the top surgeons and this is the best they can do. You've had other surgeries? Please, don't worry. Okay, I've gotten quite used to looking like this. Thanks to Fancy. It was you. You made Fancy call off her wedding. Yes, I did. I told her if she didn't, then I would tell Luis everything. And he would know exactly who he's dealing with. Oh, pretty. You have ruined your sister's happiness. Well, it's a small price to pay for her ruining my life. How can God allow this to happen? This can't be happening. This is insane. Luis is innocent. You can't execute him. It's out of my hands. The state has spoken. Luis is going to die. Look who's here. This ought to be good. Oh my God. Vincent must have decided to tell the truth and save Luis. 